MRC are pleased to introduce the new policy on embedding diversity in research design. Considering diversity in research design is essential if we want to ensure that research is relevant and benefits all groups in society. What does it mean if we don't consider diversity? It can cause bias in research outputs. For example, eight drugs were withdrawn from the US market because they were harmful to women. An algorithm underestimated illness severity in black patients. Children and older people are frequently excluded from clinical trials. Cell-based research lacks reproducibility because cell line donor sex is not recorded. In preclinical research on disorders prevalent in women, 88% had studied males only. So what can we do to improve this? We need clear guidelines on how to design and carry out research that is inclusive. When working with human populations, you must consider who should benefit from the research and ensure that they're included in your study. Diversity characteristics that you should consider include sex, gender, race and ethnicity, age, disability, underserved groups and others. When working with animal models or with cell and tissue models, you should use both sexes and consider whether other characteristics are relevant. Considering diversity is important at all stages of the research life cycle, from design through recruitment and analysis to the reporting of results. What does this mean in practice? In your application, you must explain your approach to diversity. In decision making, assessors will consider how you justify and implement your approach to diversity. There is more help and community resource to support you on the MRC website. If you would like to share your own resources, please get in touch with us at diversityinresearch at mrc.ukri.org. The MRC policy was launched in July 2023 and is effective for all call deadlines after the 1st of September 2023.